everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 27th of july 2022 let's start olympic champion neeraj chopra won which medal in the 2022 world athletics championship so olympic champion neeraj chopra scripted another history because he became only the second indian to win a medal in the world championships okay and also he is the first male track and field athlete as the legendary long jumper anju bobby george was the first indian to win a medal okay so neeraj chopra clinched silver in the javelin throw finals with his best throw of 88.13 meters and defending champion anderson peters of grenada won the gold with a throw of 90.54 meters okay let's see some of the important championship which indian sports person won the singapore open 2022 championship title so it was won by pv sindhu and she has defeated wang zing yi to win this title and she is from the country china okay so this was her third title of 2022 season and which are the other two first was sayed modi international and uh, second was swiss open bwf super 300 title okay asian under 20 wrestling championships was held in which country so this championship took place in the country bahrain and india has won total 22 medals in this which contains four gold nine silver and nine bronze okay and women's team of india won the total 10 medals in which three were gold my master winning lessons from a champion's life is the memoir of which personality so this is the memoir of the chess legend and five times world champion vishwanathan anand what is india's position on the under 15 asian wrestling championship so we were at the third position in this championship first was iran second was kazakhstan and total india has won eight medals in which two were gold two were silver and four were bronze okay so sachin and abhay from 68 kgs category and 72 kgs category respectively won the gold in this championship in their respective fields okay Which state won the Hockey India Senior Women's National Championship 2022? So it was won by Odisha. Second was Karnataka. Third was Jharkhand, and fourth was Haryana. Okay, and this event took place in Bhopal in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Next question: Sura Rai Potru, which was declared the best feature film in the 68th National Film Awards, is from which language? So winners of the 68th National Film Awards were announced in New Delhi. And the prestigious awards are administered by the government of India's Directorate of Film Festival. So this year best feature film award was given to the Tamil film Surarai Potru while its actor Surya and Aparna won two awards as well. So Ajay Devgan for the movie Tanha ji also shared the best actor award and the malayalam movie ayappanam koshiyam 
won several awards including the best director okay let's see some of the important awards jc daniel award is the highest award in cinema in which language so this is the award that is given in malayalam language field okay so for the year 2021 the winner of jc daniel award is kp kumaran who is a renowned filmmaker okay which indian filmmakers were awarded the icon award at the 2022 london india film festival so this award was presented to aparna sen and nandita das and don't forget that london indian film festival held across four cities london birmingham manchester and leeds dr rajendra prasad memorial award which was recently announced is associated with which field so it is related to the public administration field and recently it has been announced by our science and technology minister dr jitend singh which indian has been awarded the ayurveda ratna award by the uk parliament this is tanuja nesari who is the director of all india institute of ayurveda which state or union territory launched the mo bus service which was recently recognized by the united nations public service award so odisha's capital region urban transport authority launched this mo bus service in the year 2018 to provide smart technologies and safe transportation for the women there okay and recently it has been recognized by the united nations public service award fine next question which indian state police recently launched the efir system so union home minister amit shah launched this efir system of gujarat police in gandhi nagar and this system will enable the citizens to file an fir online without visiting the police station so all important services of gujarat police will be made available online and within 48 hours of registering the fir the police will directly contact that person okay coming to the question slide asian development bank has approved a 96.3 million dollars loan to which state for safe drinking water and sanitation so adb has approved 96.3 million dollars loan to fund safe drinking water and sanitation project in the state of himachal pradesh so the 770 crore rupees loan has been provided under the himachal pradesh rural drinking water improvement and livelihood project and this project will actually connect 75800 households to the service by providing them uninterrupted water supply to about 3 lakh 70000 residents across 10 district okay burhanpur which was declared the first har ghar jal certified district in the country is in which state so this district lies in the state of madhya pradesh and recently it becomes the first har ghar jal certified district in the country and also it is called darwaza of dakhin and after the launch of the jal jeevan mission in the year 2019 the panchayat representatives pani samitis and the district officials of burhanpur took efforts to achieve the functional tap water connections to all of its 1,1905 rural households within a span of 34 month okay which state signed memorandum of understanding with the flipkart to provide the placement opportunities to the students in itis and in the engineering colleges this is the state Bihar okay and this mou was signed on world youth skills day that is observed on 15th of july every year what was the theme for the year 2022 transforming youth skills for the future okay which indian state or the union territory launched the swanirbhar nari initiative it has been launched by the state assam why to empower the indigenous weavers of the state and to provide them financial help as well the world bank has approved a funding of 1600 crore rupees to which state for the power sector development this is himachal pradesh and uh, this plan would be implemented till 5 years that is from 2023 up to 2028 okay next question 
monitoring application for seamless inspection masi which was seen in the news recently is associated with which action so women and child development minister smriti irani replied in lok sabha that over 2000 children have died in specialized adoption agencies since 2014 and as many as 27085 children have been adopted since 2014 okay so ncpcr means the national commission for the protection of child rights developed an application named as masi for the real time monitoring of the child care institution okay so answer would be monitoring of child care institutions let's see some of the important ministries which union ministry is associated with the indian antarctic bill 2022 so lok sabha has recently passed the indian antarctic bill 2022 and it has been moved by ministry of earth sciences the minister of which is mr jitend singh so this bill aims to have india's own national measures for protecting the antarctic environment as the dependent and associated ecosystem and also it aims to ensure the demilitarization of the region and stopping the mining or any type of illegal activity okay and also it aims for the prohibition of nuclear test or explosion in this region fine national tobacco control cell functions under which union ministry so national tobacco control program which was launched under the health ministry in the year 2007 to 8 is implemented through national tobacco control cell at the central level okay so state tobacco control cell at the state level and district tobacco control cell at the district level fine so recently the government has proposed the changes in the packaging and labeling norms to be adhered by the cigarette makers and the tobacco companies from 1st of december and the packaging of the product should read two warning text with different pictures on it okay so it is related to ministry of health and family welfare ministry of earth sciences demonstrated that these salination plants in which state or the union territory these plants have been demonstrated in lakshadweep recently and the technology has been developed by the autonomous institute of ministry of earth sciences national institute of ocean technology okay so three different plants have been set up in three different areas of lakshadweep where kavaratti agati and minikoi islands okay which union ministry launched three new schemes under strengthening the pharmaceutical industry it is related to ministry of chemicals and fertilizer which union ministry implements the mission shakti scheme answer is ministry of women and child development so it is a kind of integrated women empowerment program and it has been launched for the 15th finance commission cycle that is from 2021 22 up to 2025 26 and also it consists of two sub schemes under it first is sambal and second is samarth fine next question iucn has listed which species of butterfly in the endangered species list so the migratory monarch butterfly has been listed in the endangered species category by the international union for the conservation of nature that is iucn okay so iucn has listed this butterfly as endangered which indicates that the sub species is facing a high risk of extinction in the wild and the main threats to the butterfly are habitat loss pesticide herbicide use and climate change fine right? coming to the question slide WHO has recently declared which outbreak as a public health emergency of international concern. So the World Health Organization has declared the global monkeypox outbreak as a public health emergency of international concern. And this classification is one step below that of a pandemic. Okay? So WHO says that the expanding monkeypox outbreak in over 70 countries is now qualified to be a global emergency what is the new name of india's first passenger drone which was recently seen in the news the name of this drone is varuna okay and the payload that it can carry is 130 kgs 
and uh, it has the flight time of 25 to 33 minutes and it has a range of 25 kilometers mild pristone misoprostol pills which are in the news recently are administered for which of the following so these pills are related to abortion which country recently passed respect for the marriage act answer would be usa capacity building commission recently developed a set of national standards for which institution so they have recently set the national standards for civil services training institutions fine next question which country signed a landmark deal with the united nations and turkey on resuming the grain shipment so russia and ukraine have signed this landmark deal with the un and turkey on resuming the grain shipment and this agreement aimed to ease a global food crisis and help to avoid the famine by providing more wheat sunflower oil fertilizer and other products into the world market so united nations world food program says some 47 million people are now in a stage of acute hunger okay let's see some of the important international current affairs indian navy conducted a maritime partnership exercise with which country in the andaman sea so maritime partnership exercise was conducted between japan maritime self defense force and the indian navy where in the andaman sea so india's ins sukanya which is an offshore patrol vessel and japan's destroyer js samidar undertook several exercises including the sea manship activities aircraft operations etc as a part of the exercise burhanpur which was declared the first har ghar jal certified district in the country is in which state we have talked about it earlier answer would be madhya pradesh which developed country has reported its first case of polio in nearly a decade this is the country usa india signed an agreement to curb the trans border crimes with which country answer would be bangladesh india signed a memorandum of understanding with which country on mutual recognition of educational qualifications and agreement on the healthcare workforce this would be the country uk okay next question who are the beneficiaries of pm swanidhi scheme so this scheme was launched on 1st of june in the year 2020 to provide financial support to the street vendors and as of july 3661 crore rupees had been provided as the micro credits to more than 30 lakh street vendors so the minister for housing and urban affairs mr hardeep singh puri address the meeting of national association of street vendors of india which was held under the theme of from encroachers to self employed okay let's see some of the important cities the international association of ports and harbors is based at which city so the tokyo based international association of ports and harbors is the global forum of ports for industry collaboration and excellence so it has recently appointed nrasu karunesan as its official representative in india and he is an indian ports advisor and has 33 years of leadership in the port sector india's first brain health clinic was inaugurated in which city so karnataka health minister k sudhakar recently inaugurated india's very first brain collaborative health clinic in the city bangalore okay so this clinic at jayanagar general hospital bangalore has been established by the state health department under the karnataka brain health initiative in association with nim hands okay which indian city has been selected as the first cultural and tourism capital of the shanghai cooperation organization for the 2022 to 23 this is the city varanasi India achieved a world record for construction of the longest double decker viaduct in which city so we have constructed this viaduct in nagpur home minister amit shah unveiled the statue of peace of swami ramanuja charya at which city so this statue has been recently unveiled at shrinagar okay next question when is the income tax day or aikar divas celebrated in india 
So the income tax department observes 24th of July every year as the income tax day to commemorate the introduction of income tax in the country. Okay, because on the same day in the year 1860, Sir James Wilson introduced the income tax for the very first time in India to compensate for the losses suffered by the British regime during the 1857 war of independence. Fine. The Nikar Divas was celebrated for the first time in 2010 to mark the 150 years of income tax in India. Fine. Let's see some of the important days. When is the income tax day or Aikar Divas celebrated in India? No need to tell. Just I've taught. Just we have talked about it. When is the National Broadcasting Day 2022 observed in India? This day is observed on 23rd of July. The National Flag Day is celebrated in which day in India? It is celebrated on 22nd of July. When is the World Chess Day celebrated every year? We observe the World Chess Day on 20th of July. When is the International Moon Day celebrated annually? It is celebrated on 20th of July. When is the Nelson Mandela Day observed every year? We observe this day on 18th of July. Fine. Next question. Which is the venue of the first Kelo India Fencing Women's League? So the first Kelo India Fencing Women's League recently commenced in New Delhi. And this is the first of its kind national fencing competition for the women in which 300 women across 20 states are participating okay and the Tokyo Olympian Bhavani Devi is also a participant in this okay let's see some of the important women related current affairs who has been named the captain of the Indian women's cricket team in the 2022 Commonwealth game this is Harman Preet Kaur in Sri Lanka the government has raised the minimum age limit for the women going abroad to work as the domestic helpers to what age so this age is now 21 years. Who are the winners of Wimbledon women's and the men's title in 2022? Men's title was won by Novak Djokovic and Wimbledon women title was given to Alena Rybakina. Okay. And she is the very first woman from the country Kazakhstan to win a Grand Slam title. Which country is the host of FIFA under 17 women's world cup 2022? Answer is India. Which network has partnered with the United Nations Women for advancing the women's economic empowerment? This is linked in. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzat Sana signing off.